This video is sponsored by Chewy. Get 30% off your first auto ship order and free shipping on orders over $49. Click the link in the description. Make sure to subscribe so you can keep up to date on all of our videos. Today we're going to cover three important aspects of caring for your sulcata tortoise. Sulcatas are the third largest tortoise species in the world. Our sulcatas are only babies, so in this video we're going to be covering how to care for your hatchlings. First we're going to cover how to bathe your sulcata. We use a sink to bathe our hatchlings. Make sure the water is lukewarm, you don't want it to be too hot or too cold. Feel the water with your hand to make sure that you won't hurt your tortoise. Once the water reaches the right temperature, start to fill up the sink. You want the water to be high enough that they can get a drink and bathe, but not too high that they might get hurt. You want the water to cover the first scoot. Once the water is at the right height, let them hang out and get used to the water for a bit before actually bathing them. At this point, they will start to take drinks. They hold their head underwater for a very long time, but don't worry, they know when to come up for air. At this point, they will also start to defecate and urinate in the water. When they do, try to avoid letting them sit in it or drink the water around it. You want to drain and clean this out when it happens. After they got their soaking in, we like to run the water over them to rinse them off. Sometimes we even use a soft bristle toothbrush to scrub their shells for them. After their bath, we bring them out to dry them and record their weight and length. For this we use a towel, a small scale, a tape measure, and a journal. After the sulcata is dried off, we put him on a tray on the little scale to see how much he weighs. Then we measure their length with a tape measure. We keep in our journal every time we weigh and measure them. You can see how much they grew in one month. Next we'll cover what to feed your sulcatas. Sulcatas are from the Sahara Desert and are scavengers. They stick to a mainly grassland diet in captivity. They should be fed mostly dark leafy greens such as collard greens, mustard greens, and kale. Also grassland tortoise diet which you can find at most retail pet stores is great for their nutrition. They also love fruit. Although it is not very nutritional for the sulcatas, it is a great treat for them and also a good way to rehydrate a dehydrated tortoise. Other than specific meal times, they should be given as much opportunity as possible to graze on grass outside as they can. Lastly, we'll talk about enclosures and living conditions. We keep our hatchlings in a 10x10 10 10 enclosure, split in half so they get one half 
and the other half is used as a quarantine side for our three tow tortoises. In this enclosure, there is a food and water dish. The enclosure is made up of mulch and topsoil, with a tarp along the floor and pulled up along the edges so the tortoises cannot see out. If a tortoise can see out of his enclosure, he will never stop trying to get out. There is also a hut and a UVB heat lamp on both sides. Here's a peek at the quarantined three-toed tortoise enclosure. This is where we put three-toed tortoises who have been hurt and can't be with the rest of the herd. To see their full enclosure, visit our channel. If possible, it is best to keep your hatchlings outside where they can get grass whenever they want. Unfortunately, we don't have that option where we live, so we take them outside as often as we can to let them graze on the grass for a few hours. As mentioned earlier, grazing on grass should be a stable part of their diet. Being outside also allows them to get sun, which is very nutritional. A UVB light can only do so much. If you liked the video, please like and subscribe and hit the bell icon to stay up to date with our videos.